a virus is really, really small. For the biggest spike in coronavirus cases. More confirmed cases than any country in the world. But it's not always bad news. You are actually part virus. Around 8% of our DNA actually comes from viruses and you might not be alive without them. This is the story of human endogenous retroviruses. Meet Herb W. It's not quite a living creature, but Herb W wants to replicate, like all viruses. Unfortunately, it can't. After all, viruses are mainly made of just some genes and a protein shell called a capsid. Herb W's only chance to replicate is to find a cell that has the machinery to make more of the virus. There's a lot of different viruses, like the coronavirus or the flu, but Herb W is a retrovirus. It stores its genetic information in the form of RNA and also carries a few helper proteins, or enzymes. To replicate, retroviruses create a DNA copy of their RNA using a protein helper called reverse transcriptase. They then integrate their newly formed DNA into the host cell's DNA using a protein helper called integrase. The cell reads the viral DNA like it's human DNA and makes more copies of the virus. Think of a cell as a factory and a cell's genetic material as blueprints. In this case, Herf W would enter the factory and slip its blueprints in with the factory's blueprints. The factory would then start making Herf W. This exact scenario happened millions of years ago to one of our ancestors, but Herf W didn't slip its DNA into some regular ear or foot cell, it infected the sperm or egg cell of a parent. The viral gene was passed onto every cell of that parent's offspring, and eventually it made its way into the DNA of all modern humans. Imagine if the blueprints for that factory had been passed down for centuries. In one of the older copies, a Herv W would have inserted its blueprints into the factory's blueprints. The blueprints would be passed down, and as other changes are made throughout the years, fragments of Herv W's blueprint would end up in modern day factories. Herv W is now a human endogenous retrovirus, but it isn't the only one. Your DNA is a graveyard of ancient virus fossils. But not all of them are inactive. Our bodies have repurposed these viral genes. For example, parts of Herb W code for syncytin, a protein crucial in the development of the placenta, an essential element in embryonic development. Without it, we may have still been laying eggs. Another Herb sequence codes for the ARC protein, which plays a major role in our advanced memories. However, under extreme stress, some parts of the viral genes that were restricted express themselves, triggering unexpected behavior. This has been linked to numerous diseases, like multiple sclerosis, ALS, cancers, and depression. From giving birth to having an advanced brain, it turns out the things that make us human might not be so human after all.